Hey, fifth grade, it's Miss Bishop again, and we're going to talk about um, area and perimeter. We're going to go a little deeper and try to stretch our brain um, with a problem we're going to look at on this next slide. So let's click next, and I'm going to move me down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's read this problem together and kind of think about what we need to do to kind of figure out the next few steps with this. So it says Mrs. Bishop is laying square stickers for a collage. Each square sticker has a perimeter of eight centimeters. And then the question is, well, what is the length of one side for one of the square stickers? So if we look at our model here, um, our collage is obviously how many square stickers? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, so we know that there are 12 um, square stickers here, which means we know that um, this side and this side, um, this side and this side have to be equal, which means this side and this side have to be equal because we have a rectangular uh, shape here. But I think we need to go back and kind of read what um, this question is really asking us to do because it says, what is the length of one side for one of the square stickers. So we just want to know one side uh, for one of the square stickers. So this is one square sticker here, right? This is one square sticker here. And what this question is asking is, well, what is the length of one of these sides right here? So this side right here, or this side right here, or this side right here, or this side right here. So it's asking what is the length of one of these um, sides. So we're going to need to go back and probably read this problem again at the top, the information that we were given at um, the top of the screen. So it says Miss Bishop is laying square stickers for a collage. So obviously I laid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve square stickers. Each square sticker, so let's kind of go back, I'm going to change my pen color here, it says each square sticker, so it's saying each one of these square stickers, each one of these has a perimeter of 8 centimeters. So it's saying this square sticker has a perimeter of 8 centimeters, so this square sticker has a perimeter of 8 centimeters, this square sticker, sticker has a perimeter of eight centimeters. This square sticker has a perimeter of eight centimeters. And so each one of these has a perimeter of eight centimeters. Now, when we're thinking about this, we need to think about what we know about a square. So what do you know about a square? Well, a square um, has four sides, we know, but we know that all of those sides have to be the same length. That's what um, makes a square a square. It has four right angles and all of the sides um, are the same length. So if I know my perimeter of my square has to be eight centimeters, what does each of the sides um, need to equal? Okay, so I know that all the way around my square has to be a total of eight centimeters. So what would each one of these sides need to equal, right? Which one, what one of these sides need to equal f so um, we know that? So I'll give you a second to think about that. Okay. <clears throat> so one of these sides would need to equal two centimeters. So this side would have to be two centimeters. This side would have to be two centimeters. This side would have to be two centimeters and that side would have to be two centimeters. So that means that each one of these sides has to be two centimeters long because it said that each square sticker has a perimeter of eight centimeters. So we've got two, four, six, eight. It didn't say that the whole collage had a perimeter of eight centimeters. It said that each square sticker had a perimeter um, of eight centimeters. So our answer to this question, and let me get my pen color so you guys can see. So the question was, what is the length of one side for one of the square stickers? So our answer to this 
would be two centimeters. So keep that in your brain um, while we look at the next question. Okay, so once again, we have our information up here that reminds us that each one of these square stickers has a perimeter of eight centimeters. And I'm just going to put that information right here because we figured that out um, last time. So where are we right now? Okay, uh, let's go back. Okay, we figured that one out. Let's go back to, here we go. Now we're on the right side. Okay, so we have our pen again, and we're just going to write in the information that we um, determined from the last side. Oh, my pen color is white. That's why I can't see it. Okay, so I have two centimeters, and I know that each one of these sides is two centimeters. That's what we figured out from the last problem. So let's go ahead and look at this question. So it says, what is the area of the entire collage in centimeters? So it's easy to say, okay, well, the area has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 um, square units, okay? And that would be a good answer if this side were four, was four um, centimeters, and this side uh, was three centimeters, but we got information from the last problem that told us that one of the sides for each square centimeter, for each square sticker was two centimeters. So what that means is that this side is two centimeters, which means this square also has a side uh, length of two centimeters, and this square has a side of two centimeters, and this square also has a length of a side, uh, side that has two centimeters also, which means that this side of our, our rectangle, so this side right here is not going to be four um, centimeters. This side is actually going to be eight centimeters, and it's eight centimeters um, because each one of these squares has a length of two centimeters, which is what we figured out in the last um, which is what we figured out in the last question. All right, so that same reasoning is going to apply um, to this side of a rectangle too, because remember, all sides of our square units are two centimeters. So that means that from here to here is two centimeters. That means from here to here is two centimeters, which means from here to here um, is also two centimeters as well. So that means that this side is not um, three centimeters. This side is actually equal to six centimeters because each one of these sides is equal to two centimeters. So in reality, our area is not going to be 12 because our length is not four times and width is not three. Our length is actually eight centimeters and our width is actually six centimeters. And we know to find our area, we're gonna do our length times our width. And what we just figured out is that our length is eight centimeters and our width is six centimeters. So if our length is eight centimeters and our width is six, six um centimeters, that means that our area is going to be 48 centimeters squared. And we put that little two there because remember we measure area in square units. Okay, so that's um, that second question. So let's um, make our brain think a little bit more with the next question. So remembering these two measurements, right? Our length and our width. So keep those measurements in mind as we look at the next problem. All right, so remember um, our perimeter is, um, of each square is eight centimeters. So remembering that um, this side, this length right here is two centimeters. So from here to here is two centimeters and here to here is two centimeters and here to here is two centimeters. So we remember we figured out that this side is eight uh, centimeters long, all right? 
And then remembering from here to here is two centimeters, from here to here is two centimeters, from here to here um, is two centimeters as well. So this side was six centimeters. That's what we just figured out um, on the last slide. So we know our length is eight centimeters, our width is six centimeters. So our next question says, what is the perimeter of the collage in centimeters? So when we're talking about the perimeter, we're talking about the distance around our shape, okay? And when we have a rectangle, what we know about rectangles is that opposite sides are equal. So if this side is eight centimeters, that means that this side is also eight centimeters. And that also means that this side is six centimeters, since this side is six um, centimeters as well. So you have eight centimeters on this side, so we have eight centimeters on this side, six centimeters on this side, so six centimeters on that side. We know that when we find our perimeter, we've got to do our length plus our length plus our width plus our width. So that means our perimeter is going to be 8 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 6 centimeters. All right, and when I add all of those um, centimeters up, I'm going to have 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Um, 16 um, plus 6 is 22. And 22 plus 6 is going to be 28 centimeters long. And we don't square that or cube that because, remember, perimeter is a linear measurement, which means that we're finding the distance around. So it's a straight um, path there. So we're just going to check this math again. 8 plus 8 is 16. Uh, 6 plus 6 is 12. So, yes, that's going to add up to 28 um, centimeters. So what we just did is just kind of put another layer of thinking on our area and um, perimeter and hopefully this will help you as you uh, work through your assignment and your problems as you're working um, on Google Classroom. All right, have a good night guys. See you later.